This is our second group, Pandora for Learning. My name's Clifford Cohen, and I represent Pandora for Learning. <coughs> and uh, <laughs> take a bow, everybody. Um, we uh, we connect with we connect with um, kids' passions. And on that note, cue video. Just like Pandora uses algorithms to connect you to the music you love, Pandora for Learning uses clever little algorithms to connect learners to the open content they'll love. In today's classrooms, student interests are not connected to the curriculum. This leads to boredom, disengagement and frustration. Pandora for Learning transforms teaching and learning by connecting student passions and interests to open and freely available content that will engage them in their learning. Pandora for Learning allows students to create and curate open content, building collaborative networks of learners with similar passions. Pandora for Learning. Create, collaborate, and curate open educational resources. Thanks very much. We're taking questions. <laughs> uh, so if uh, I could have one of you guys stay on the stage, and then I guess uh, if I could get the next group to come up, and uh, that is Electronic Learning Celestial City. And then I guess if, as, as they're on stage, if I could get the next group, IGPS to queue up here, that would be great. And I'm sorry, uh, it's, your name is? Uh, Clifford Cohen. And um, so what a great idea. Kids get to learn whatever they just, they're just they interested in. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, um, it's, as we said, it's using clever little algorithms that um, are intelligent and build the intelligence, tap into student passions. And as the student gets involved, um, the uh, Pandora for Learning uh, triggers their passions more and more and taps into their passions and connects it to um, standards and learning and lessons. And I guess, can you explain a little bit of that whole thing of the curate, the, the, uh, the, the last step of that process? Yeah, I mean, it, that, that is actually an important and pivotal process. Um, we're tapping into student-driven learning, and um, the content that moves up is all, is all student-created, is all learner-created. So um, as, as more content is, is um, uploaded, there's more content that is curated and rises to the top. So they get to vote it up or vote it down. Exactly. Exactly. It's a community. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. If we could get IGPS to start lining up, that would be great.